Hi everyone, now this video is for parents and also for students because it's all about unpicking Edexcel GCSE because so many people get confused, they ask me lots of questions because I realise that it is incredibly confusing knowing how many exams your child or you is going to be sitting, what that entails, what the structure will be and so in this video I'm clearing up confusion relating to Edexcel GCSE. If you're sitting another exam board please don't watch this video go and watch one of my alternative videos because I have mentioned those exam boards in great amounts of detail there. So, Edexcel GCSE students. First of all, there are two examinations. There's the one for triple award students and the one for double award students. Now, triple award students are effectively sitting the single sciences, which means that they will receive three GCSE qualifications, one in biology, one in chemistry, and one in physics. Now, how is that actually tested? Well, there'll be two papers sat approximately three weeks apart. Paper one of three sciences deals with the first half of the content. So for chemistry, that will be the first half of the specification. For biology, that will be the first half of the specification. And the same is true for physics. A few weeks later, your child or you will sit paper two, and that deals with completely different topics from paper one you will not be examined in the same material, so make sure you don't relearn really it. Just learn the second half of the specification and it will very clearly state on the specification paper two topics. So make sure you've learned the right material for the right paper. Now those papers are one hour, 45 minutes long and they consist of short answer questions, structured questions, some longer response answers, multiple choice, data analysis, ability to draw graphs may also be tested. So make sure you check out the GCSE Edexcel website and have a look at the past paper questions together with their mark schemes. The next thing to be aware of is that there's a higher tier versus foundation tier. Now the higher tier consists of more topics and the questions are more difficult, which means that the maximum grade achievable is a grade nine. Foundation tier students, the maximum grade that they will achieve is a grade five. Do check with your child's school or your teacher if you're at all confused with this matter. Moving on now to dual award students, the combined science students. Now these students will receive two GCSE qualifications and in this case there'll be two papers again for each of the sciences making a total of six but whereas the triple students were sitting one hour 45 minute papers, the combined science students will be sitting one hour 10 papers. So for biology you'll sit a total of two hours 20 minutes worth of papers the same is true for chemistry and physics. Notice that the questions again will be divided into multiple choice, short answer, structured questions, data analysis, potentially graph drawing. Again, the combined sciences have both a higher and foundation tier. So the higher tier again contains more content, will be asked in a slightly more complicated way. So the maximum grade achievable here is a nine. For foundation tier students, the maximum grade available is a five. And as always, if there's any confusion, do go talk to your teacher at school, go chat. If you're a parent, go chat to them. They'll be able to clear anything up and take a look at the textbook that your school provides because that should really help direct which exam board you are sitting. Don't forget, I have on my YouTube channel, they're my most popular videos. I have all in one videos which deal with the content so you can actually sit and watch and go through the specification point by point, teaching you all the key concepts and good ways in which you need to arrange your answers. Don't forget the website also contains my perfect answer revision guide where I've really distilled all that specification into easier, more concise terms. And you can check out previews on the website. Right guys, I really hope that this has been helpful both to the students and the parents so that you have a clearer understanding as to how the Edexcel GCSE qualification is arranged. 